what's up YouTube I'm here with another video I'm reviewing the replica 661 or 660 because it's supposed to be the older version but I got the 661 side by side and in this video I'm just gonna do a comparison this is brand new like a brand new chain brand new everything I've ran the saw one time obviously because I pulled it out the box and it's been sitting in my shed pretty much ever since I'm a little bit out of breath because I just rolled this big log right here heads off but I paid about four hundred and fifty dollars for this replica and then I spent another hundred for the bar and chain let's just say to where this was about fifteen hundred bucks brand new so, look at my truck it's a nice little truck you know what I mean truck so you know this does have a dump in it this this lift So it's a pretty sweet little thing. I built it back. I put two by twelves on here. Alright. You guys can get a comparison on how big that log is. Look at whatever. But uh we'll start off with the 660 first. Oh. Speed test now on some of these pieces of wood right here. and it has a little more bite to it that's for sure all right let's find a six let's see what this is going on have actual time sheets on it in the video um, the thing is the 660 has an older chain on it but this thing's actually ripping pretty nice uh, I mean the plastic feels pretty it definitely feels cheaper but I mean other than that you can tell there's compression and everything and it's, it's a ripping saw for sure so.
it's just supposed to be comparison. I mean, they feel real similar. Uh, I can't hate, can't say anything bad about it. It does feel like it's a little bit cheaper made, but I'm not one of those guys that are out to try to defend a brand and pretend that it's the best brand. I think still makes amazing chainsaws and that's really all I run. If you're looking for a saw for $450, that's real comparable to the Still 661, buy this saw right here. It's a good saw. As you can tell, I just did the speed test. I just ran it. I mean, it does have a little bit sharper of a chain. That's cool. It felt just like the 661. I'm not being biased. I'm not saying, oh, it's it sucks. It was horrible. I know putting this thing together was a little bit dingy. It was like some of the parts and stuff are like don't want to go together the right way and you kind of have to like force it in there. But other than that, it feels pretty durable. Like I said, the plastic, you could tell the plastic's a little cheaper than the stuff that still has on here. This is like more stiff to where I can almost put my finger up under there and I can't get my finger under there. I have to actually try to get it under there. You know what I mean? But this is a newer model. This is supposed to be the 660 this is the 661 so if there's any ideas you guys have that i have a little bit of a following i think i got 1600 followers and i'd say at least 500 of those people interact with me whether it be through my posts through my reels or youtube shorts whatever um so if you guys have any ideas on what i should do next for my next video comment that in the comment section i like to interact with you guys so look at these big logs These are monster logs. It's kind of hard to tell, but if you put me in the frame, you can kind of tell. I'm not that big of a guy. I'm like 5'10". So these things, this thing right here comes up to my side. So they're big. It's pretty sweet. I got a bunch of logs here that I showed earlier in the video. A bunch of wood chips over there, Mount Everest. More wood way over there. But, alright. Thanks for watching.